Hello everybody, it's Aurora. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of, well, whatever the heck this is. So let's, let me explain a little bit of what we're doing today. Oh, get out of there. This is that Crayola model magic. It's very unusual because it feels very lightweight. It's not like any kind of other uh, modeling clay, like regular clay, which I have plenty of that too, and or like polymer clay. Polymer clay is very heavy in comparison to this. You've probably seen this stuff. It's made by Crayola. You've probably seen it in Michaels and Walmart and any other craft store you go to. I have some of this left over from uh, just, well, from what we're doing today. So what we're going to do is we're going to make wearable dragon horns. Now, y'all are probably like, what? <laughs> Why would I want those? Well, they're really cool for like kids, especially, but I, I have several pair um, that I've made myself. And what they... It, just really cute little dragon horns. I'm going to put a picture in here. I'll show you. Um, so that's what we're doing today. So uh, let me get a stick. I need a stick. Where did all the sticks go? If y'all can see. Oh, here we are. Okay. We're going to take a chopstick. Just an old chopstick. And some of your modeling clay. And you're gonna kind of form it to look like a little horn. This is not, there's really, <laughs> there's no science to this. I swear, anybody can do this. This is super simple. And what's nice about these the little horn things is that this modeling clay stays really lightweight. So when, <clears throat> when these are finished and you're actually wearing them, they don't constantly tip over, you know? It's like when you have them on your head. If they're made out of anything heavier than this, they have a tendency to just bloop over. And then they just don't look very good. But once you've got your little horn looking the way you want, hope you all have been following me along with this. You can just kind of shape it to make it look like a little, a little devil horn. And there's other ways of doing it. I mean, you can do it twisted, all sorts of ways. Then you take your chopstick and you're gonna put it right through it, kind of towards the bottom. And you're gonna make a little hole. And you can keep kind of manipulating it while it's on the stick. Now, to smooth this stuff out, you can use water to kind of get rid of any little lines and bumps and all that. Unless you want to keep them for texture, or you can actually texturize these if you so choose. So it should, when you're done, look something like this. Okay? And we're going to do this other one and do the same thing. And you want them to be, you know, the same shape and, and size, basically. So that you're not, they don't look lopsided and weird. I will be painting these. So, to give you an idea, which is nice, this stuff is, it's paintable. And so far, <laughs> I mean, Crayola puts out some interesting products. 
don't get me wrong. But when this stuff came out and I felt that, I was like, oh, these would be so great to make horns out of because it's so lightweight. And it's seriously the only thing I use it for. Now, I have used it in the past to make like little animals and like what's on the package, you know. They're, they're cute, blah, 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 you know. You have to use glue to, uh, my fingernails, to kind of hold some of the pieces together. It does hold rather well to itself because it does have just a, a slight tacky feel to it. That's not big enough. That's what I'm talking about, trying to make, make sure that it's all the same size. And this does work better if it's like fresh also. This has been sitting around for a while. And it does, it's just air dry. I mean, that's, that's another nice thing. You don't have to heat up your kitchen with turning the stove on and all that to bake it or anything. And this stuff is made out of, um, it's like a paper. It's like, it's so hard to describe. It really is difficult to describe this stuff, but it's very cool. And you can see how malleable it is. It's almost like a, <laughs> like a kneaded eraser. But even a kneaded eraser is lighter weight than this. Or th this is lighter weight than a kneaded eraser. It's very, very light and fluffy feeling. Kind of like you're molding a marshmallow. Okay, let's get our horn made here. But it's paintable, you can, I suggest using craft paint. I wouldn't, I mean, watercolors, eh. Nah, but I would definitely suggest like craft color uh, acrylics and uh, you can put glue that, you know, glue like rhinestones or glitter or whatever else you want. That's about the same size. Okay, so let's poke the hole. Bit bigger than our other one, so we're just gonna pinch some of this off. But these are this is a fun craft, like if you, if you know for when you want to, dare I say, do arts and crafts with your kids. Um, this stuff is non-toxic. Um, let's see. What all is the package in? Reuse or air dry, which that is one of the options. You can just re, you know, make something and then smoosh it back up, stick it back in the bag. But make sure you use, you know, like a Ziploc baggie to store it in, else it will dry out. Or something that's airtight. But other than that... you'll end up with some really cute little horns here. Okay. So, the other thing is that this stuff takes like 24 hours, I think it is, to dry. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. But it also comes in like all these colors as well. So you can actually mix them together. I had a few other colors, but <laughs> they dried out. So I had to toss them. So, but, there we go. That looks better. Okay. Okay, so you've got your horns. You're gonna sit and let those dry. And you can even let them sit and dry on the skewer, okay? And this is what you end up with at the end of the day. Whoops, right with my help figures. 
this is what you're going to end up with. Now, I didn't paint these because I wanted them to be bone colored. And these are really old. I've made these, oh my gosh, years and years and years ago. Uh, but you can see basically how they look. Now, in order, once they're dry, it's everywhere. Uh, once they're dry, you know, these have dried on, you know, on the skewer. You're going to take either, what I use is like a real dark, I have dark brown hair, so I used a dark brown shoelace. But you can use string, twine, I just have some of this in the closet, so. And you're going to pull off about two feet of twine. you're done you're going to realize that you're going to make knots this is so they can't slide back and forth along the line um, you'll put a knot on either side and then you'll put them on so that they're facing forward and then you tie this underneath the back of your hair and your hair gets covered. Now you can use a string or anything that matches your hair color so that that kind of disappears into your hair and then these are sticking up out of your hair and they look like real little dragon horns or devil horns or whatever you want to call them. And like I said, these are paintable. So I'm going to wait the 24 hours for these to dry and then we'll come back and we'll paint them and string them. So we have some wearable dragon horns. So we'll be back in soon as these are dry. Okay, so we're back. And these are basically dry to the touch, which is good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to paint them red. This is Reeves acrylic. And it has kind of a a, a slightly shiny um, finish so we want to we want we don't have to spray them or anything like that so I'm just gonna leave them on the stick and paint them So they're dried we're back and as you can see they're they're all dried and uh, red so we're going to go ahead and take them off of the chopstick or don't throw it away or anything because we're going to need it probably and you're going to get yourself your two foot long piece of string give or take a two feet it's about that and you're going to fold it in half and then find that half the center and then from both sides of the middle measure about one width of your fist and you're gonna make a knot I hope this stuff is thick enough I'll make a knot like that then at the other end, the, the longer end, the, the knots of the shorter end, and this is the longer end. You're going to put your string through your hole and bring it up to that knot. Now, if the knot slips through, make your knot bigger. This looks like it's just about, yeah, it goes right through. So I'm going to make this knot bigger. 
because that's the whole point. You don't want them to slide through in any way, shape, or form. You want it to be like a stopper. There we go. And then you do another knot on the other side of that horn. And we're gonna have to make it a double knot on this side as well because it's the hole's pretty big. You can use something that's smaller, but it's harder to get the the shoelace or twine or string or what have you through the horn. So that's why it's okay to double you know double knot it. So there we go. Okay, now hand width apart and make a knot. Go ahead and double knot it now because we know it's gonna go sliding right through. And then we'll slide the horn on. Make sure you making it face the correct direction because you don't want one facing backwards and one facing forwards. And then make another double knot. There you go. And then you'll put them on your head, facing forward, of course. Or, I mean, you could do it backwards, too. And then you would tie this in the back underneath of your hair. So it would hide it. You can make, like, a little headband out of it. And that's all there is to it. You've got your little devil horns for Halloween. So I hope you got something out of this. I mean, it's it's really great. You can make them all different colors, different shapes, different sizes, and they're so lightweight. They sit straight up on your head. They don't keep falling over. They're really awesome that way. And then you just take your hair and you just cover up the string. So there you go. Oh, I also was gonna tell you. I had way too much red paint left over, so what I did is I took that leftover paint and I painted a, one of the pages in my uh, my sketchbook, so I'm going to be doing something on that, but I laid down nicely on that paper, so, but yeah, don't waste your paint. If you have leftover paint, paint a page in your, in your sketchbook and then sketch over it. So there's, I was going to tell you, this, if the holes have been too small, you could use this to shove the um, the string through. That's why I told you not to throw that out, but we didn't have that problem. So there you go. One Halloween costume down. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I really love you bunches. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.